Hello and welcome everyone. In this tutorial, we will see examples on determining the voltage distribution of insulator string, considering the practical configuration and the stray capacitances, and what is the effect of the unequal distribution of the uh, voltages across the insulator string. Now, let's see example one. Example one says that the conductors of 66 kilovolt transmission line are suspended using insulator strings. Each consists of four units. So four units here is the number of units of the insulator string. The self capacitance or the string capacitance of each unit is 50 picofarad. So it's the string capacitance. And stray capacitance between the tower and each unit is 5 picofarad. So 5 picofarad is stray capacitance. What's required? First, the voltage distribution of the four over the four units. Second, the string efficiency. So, first of all, let's get the givens for this problem. First, we know that the total voltage of <coughs> the power conductor is 66 kilovolt, but 66 kilovolt here is line to line voltage. To convert this line to line voltage into phase voltage, we divide 66 kilovolt over root 3 to obtain the phase voltage of the high voltage conductor. So the phase voltage of high voltage conductor is 66 over root 3 equals 38.1 kilovolt. We deal with the phase voltage as we deal with per phase equivalent circuit. The self capacitance or strain capacitance equals 550 uh, picofarad and strain capacitance equals 5 picofarad from this two information we can deduce the m factor so m factor is the ratio of the strain capacitance to the self capacitance so m equals 5 over 50 so m equal 0.1 now let's see the voltage distribution over each unit First, we have that V2 equals M plus 1, V1, and M equal 0.1. So, V2 equals finally 1.1 V2, uh, 1.1 V1. V3 equals M square plus 3M plus 1 times V1. So, V3 equals 1.31 V1. And V4 equals M cubic plus 5M squared plus 6M plus 1 all times v1 so v4 equals 1.651 v1 uh, i should uh, tell you that these equations can be extracted and deduced using simple circuits analysis for this configuration so uh, this equation can easily be uh, deduced but we are concerned with the final equations and final results because this course is a high voltage course not electric circuits course so here we have three equations in four unknowns so we need an another equation and another equation is that v1 plus v2 plus v3 plus v4 equals the voltage v which is the total voltage of the insulator string so v1 plus v2 here equals 1.1 v1 and v3 here equal 1.31 v1 and v4 equals 1.651 v1 and the total voltage equal 38.1 kilovolt so we have four equations in four unknowns we can from this equation find and obtain the voltages v1 v2 v3 v4 so voltage v1 equal 7.53 kilovolt Voltage V2 equal 8.28 kilovolt, voltage V3 equal 9.86 kilovolt, and voltage V4 across the lower capacitance or the lower unit equals 12.43 kilovolt. So we can observe that from the voltages V1, V2, V3, V4, that the maximum voltage occurs across the lower unit or the unit that's close to the high voltage conductor. So According to and considering the stray capacitances, stray capacitances, the voltages across each unit is not equal, and also the voltage and the maximum voltage occurs at the uh, unit nearest to the high voltage conductor. 
Now we want to find the, insula uh, the string efficiency. We know that eta equals V over N V maximum. So V is the total voltage equal 38.1 and N is the total number of units equals four. And V maximum is the maximum voltage across the unit, which is of course the voltage across the lower capacitance, which is 12.43. We multiply by 100 to obtain a percent value. So eta from this equation equals 76.6%. So due to the unequal voltage distribution across the units, as we see, the efficiency decreases as we see. And also, you can observe that due to stray capacitances, the voltage distribution across string units is not equal. And also the maximum voltage is always across the unit near to the conductor. So this is the first example to uh, determine the voltages across each unit of the uh, insulator string. Example two, let's see example two. A string of four units used to insulate high voltage conductor of transmission line of voltage 66 kilovolt. The self capacitance is 30 picofarad and stray capacitance is six picofarad. If the breakdown voltage, this is an important information. If the breakdown voltage of each unit is 12 kilovolt. So what is the meaning of that? The meaning of that is each unit can withstand voltage up to 12 kilovolt. If the voltage across each unit exceeds 12 kilovolt, this unit will break down. What is required? Does this insulator string work safely or not? We will see by computing the voltages across each unit. First, we know that the voltage, the total voltage of the power conductor is 66 over root 3 is equal 38.1 kilovolt. Also, self capacitance is 30 picofarad and stray capacitance is 6 picofarad. From these two informations, we will deduce that the M factor equals 6 over 30, so M equal 0.2. Now, let's see the voltage distribution across each unit. V2 equal 1.2 V1, V3 equal 1.64 V1, also V4 equals 2.408 v1 this equations to determine uh, the voltages v1 v2 v3 v4 also we have the fourth equation v1 plus v2 plus v3 plus v4 equals v so by substituting with the value of v2 and value of v3 and value of uh, v4 in this equation we will obtain this equation so we can find that v1 is 6.1 kilovolt and also v2 is 7.32 kilovolt and voltage v3 the voltage across the third unit is 10 kilovolt and the voltage across the lower unit is 14.68 kilovolt so what you can deduce from this voltage the first the voltage across the first unit is 6.1 kilovolt and the breakdown voltage of the unit is 12 kilovolt so 6.1 is less than 12 so this unit works safely and for the second unit it holds 7.3 kilovolt it's of course less than 12 kilovolt which is a breakdown voltage so this unit works safely and also v3 10 kilovolt is less than 12 kilovolt which is a breakdown voltage so the unit 3 works safely but what about the voltage across the lower unit the lower unit holds 14.6 kilovolt which is bigger than the breakdown voltage 12 kilovolt so this unit doesn't work safely and the breakdown will occur across the fourth unit which is lower to high voltage conductor and this is the bad effect of the unequal voltage distribution across the unit that may one unit the voltage of one unit exceeds the breakdown voltage of each unit and the breakdown may occur so this is a, an a important problem and we need to find uh, a solution for this problem and want to need to improve the string efficiency and also we want to need make a uniform and equal voltage distribution across the insulator string and this is the 
topic of the next uh, tutorial or the next lecture we will see how to improve the string efficiency and how to make equal voltage distribution across the insulator string see you so see you in the next lecture